Hey, I just want to say first how thankful I am to kind of be here at this meetup. I came here first about two years ago. It's my first Python meetup. I knew very little Python, and I saw Jupyter Notebook. I was like, what is that thing? How do I, how do, I do this? Um, and now I'm the data editor at ALM Media. Uh, people ask me what a data editor is. I basically help us do more with data in our newsroom. Uh, ALM is a legal uh, industry facing publication, so we cover, we publish the American Lawyer, the National Law Journal, things like that. And I'm gonna talk about how we use Python in the newsroom um, and how I think Python is helping do better data journalism. Um, so I mentioned that um, I help our reporters and others in the newsroom try to do more with data, which is great. Um, but the thing about just having data in your story is, you know, readers can see it and they say, okay, that's, that's interesting, but I want to I see what the data looks like. I want to, maybe I don't actually trust or believe how they did their analysis. I want to be able to kind of follow the work that they did. Um, essentially, we want to make it more reproducible. I think this is important in a lot of other domains. I think it's important in journalism as well, especially as, um, you know, data and quantitative metrics become kind of part and parcel of the story. I also think that it's really important that reporters and newsrooms be able to collaborate. And so there are really cool ways that Python is making this happen uh, more easily. So this is a case study. Uh, we did an analysis, myself and Aaron Mulvaney, who's now with Bloomberg. Uh, we did a story that basically uh, focused on one Supreme Court decision um, that came down last year. And we wanted to kind of map the impact of this decision. Um, and so what we did is we partnered with a company called Case Text here in town, which um, has a way where you can look at a decision by the Supreme Court and you can look at every decision that cites that decision. And then we basically looked at all those, it was over 100 cases, and we kind of manually categorized what were the outcomes. And this focused on um, forced arbitration in workplaces. And so we wanted to see, okay, what is the impact? How is this shifting the law? Um, and that's challenging because we're not lawyers, for one, we're, we're journalists. Um, and the way that you categorize things can be something, somewhat subjective. And so one of the things we wanted to do and I wanted to do from the get-go was to be able to show our work and say, this is how we made these categorizations, this is how we group things together. You can follow it all, you can see the data. You know, these are public court decisions. There's no reason why someone shouldn't be able to kind of follow the trail here. And so uh, what we did was, um, wow, Back one page, there we go. So we did, uh, we used Pandas and a Jupyter Notebook. Um, we published all the data on GitHub and we created a notebook that basically stepped through our analysis um, each step of the way. So every, let me just make sure I get to my um, notebook here. And so that every metric that we cited in the story you can basically follow here. And so it just is kind of a nice combination of story and, and data, um, which I think was, was really cool. And I just kind of walked through all the way how we you know, grouped class actions, how did we group you know, sexual harassment cases and things like that. And then at the bottom, um, we just use matplotlib and Seaborn, but Bokeh is an amazing library. So I wish we'd use that. <laughs> um, so this was inspired a, a lot by Ben Welsh at the data desk of the LA Times. I mean, they just do some amazing stuff. Um, I just want to show quickly um, one of the kind of examples um, that he did, and this was something uh, that focused on uh, settlements by uh, LA City, so legal settlement, uh, settlements, and they gathered this data, posted the data set, and again, just kind of stepped through everything and really showed how um, the payouts by LA City were changing over time. And so I think it's really cool to be able to show the public, even if you're not uh, super technically savvy, you don't know what a Jupyter Notebook is, kind of combining this narrative format with the data analysis I think is really neat. Um, so the other thing I wanna just talk about quickly, as long as Daniel doesn't pull me off the stage here, is um, a tool that the Associated Press created called Data Kit. Um, and this is basically an open source command line tool. Uh, it's basically, if you're familiar with Cookie Cutter, it's based on that. Uh, it was created by uh, Sergio Tumgren, um, and he's now a lecturer at Stanford on data journalism. And what it is, is it's just a utility uh, that makes it really easy to, um, let me see if I can do this. Make a project. Project. 
three, two, one. Okay, and there it goes. It uses pipenv. It's really cool. Sets up everything. Gives it a nice project structure, um, so that you can collaborate more easily, and you're not trying to figure out where your files go and things like that.